Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. We're in our custom made Antics Core installation. I've done a little customizing since the video and I'm going to show you how to save this as an ISO that you can burn or use as a U bootable USB key in the future. So you don't have to build it all over again. You can save it for the future. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the terminal emulator go root, root password, and we're going to type antics snapshot. And this is going to tell you a bunch of things, but this is the program that's going to take our installation and turn it into a bootable US, a bootable ISO that you can burn to a disk or to a USB key. Now what's great is this not works not only in Annex Core with a custom distro, you can use it on the regular Antix as well. There's even a GUI available in the command in the uh, control center. So this is going to tell you how much space you need. You need about three times. You need about twice the space that your distro takes up for this to work. Um, so I'm pretty good here, and this is going to do a bunch of things. And this is actually a very long process, but it's going to create an ISO file system and save it into your not your home folder into a new home folder called work. I'm going to pause the video here because this is going to take a really long time uh, to do, probably in the order of oh, 10 minutes or so, uh, and we'll come back. When it's done, we'll show the ISO. As you can see now, the file system has been is being compressed down into a Linux S FS file. This is the squash file system file that will be booted onto when you go to boot it'll be the uh, what actually contains the file system um, on the CD or the ISO. Here we are at 100 percent on creating the file system. So we'll see what it does next. We are creating the image file. We've got a bunch of stuff that happened there all at once. Now it's taking the Linux file system file and creating the ISO image. Here we are cleaning up the mess. You can see it's making a hybrid ISO. That means you can either burn it to a disk or you copy it with DDD, or you should be able to use a tool like UNet Bootin or something like that to make a USB key. And there we are, we're all done. So I'm going to exit out. We got the comforting all finished label there. I'll go into the file manager. Whoops, I've hit it a couple times there. Touchpad's a little finicky today. You'll see there's a folder called Snapshot, and there they are. You've got the ISO file, and you've got an MD5 checksum if you want to check and make sure your burns are good. It's giving you that as well. Now you can see that our ISO down here at the bottom, it tells you how big it is, 491.9 megabytes. That means it'll easily fit on a CD. Once you get up around, well, call it 700 and down. Uh, you're okay for a CD ISO, otherwise you're going to have to go DVD or USB. If we took that and boot in VirtualBox, it will boot right back up into our into our um, into our custom antics as well. Okay, so I've rebooted into my main system. I've got Oracle. I got the VirtualBox back up and running and we can now boot our new snapshot ISO. I'm going to pick the ISO from the list and we're going to boot it. Ignore that error, that's because I'm running this screen capture. And there we are, Annex Snapshot, we got a whole grub menu and everything. Booting up, it's looking good, looking good. And here we are, logging in. 
to our ISO. Now the weird thing is, is that if you set up a user account, and we did, that user account's still there. That's the difference between the live and the and the other. That'll be preserved if when you install it back over. How do you install it back onto a new system? I'm glad you asked. Remember the C the command line installer we used when we installed Annex Core? It's still here and it will install Annex Snapshot. An Annex Snapshot ISO. Great. That concludes my series on Annex Core. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.